everyone, Susi Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. So today I'll be reviewing two new vehicles together. For the ground I'll be using VRCC, nothing different, it's just a Centauro. A very standard tank, most pen and dart round have 408mm of pen, which is a standard Radkonfagen penetration. Basically an Italian light tank, BR of 9.0, just like any other light tank it has access to the scout drone. I'll say it's the best ground grinder for now, so you can buy it without fear. It's uh, definitely better than the U40. So yeah, I don't wanna give too much information about this. It has some skull decal, it has license plates, Spanish flag, double top machine gun, a smoke screen, smoke round everything it requires to kill a tank and as aircraft i'm using brand new attack helicopter it's called attack again in an italian tech tree br of 10.0 it's a turkish version of italian mangusta They're looking quite identical but attack using different loadouts and sadly i have some negative review about this helicopter right after the gameplay enjoy The moment of truth, guys. Can I ram this bastard and damage him? Come at me. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> what the scout? <laughs> Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> we'll watch what happened in the replay. Yes, somebody also took my control. Oh. They also nerfed the spawn cost of the drones, by the way. Instead of 550, it's now 750. He's stressing out. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And that's a direct ram. He's out. He's just out. <laughs> okay. He made a good maneuver here. <laughs> But uh, he doesn't stand a chance against my mobility. This thing turns. Like, it's like uh, taking out a... Imagine this in real life. You have a, a remote plane. Probably you bought it for like 50 bucks. And you send it against helicopter. Yep. Okay, I uh, exploded his rotor. Oh no. If you see at the left bottom, as soon as I contact him, uh, he crashed. 
it says he crashed. So yeah, kamikaze drones are a thing in War Thunder. Use it before it gets nerfed. Wow. Right guys, that was it with the gameplay. Now I know I upped here to VRSS to 10.0. Some of you will say, what the heck? It did actually quite well because most of the time I'm facing against Russians. And at the beginning they're coming with BMP2Ms, which basically popping in first shot. They're not that survivable.
VRSS is standard Centauro. If you played with Rui Cat, Centauros, you're not even gonna notice the difference. However, here is a part where I'm gonna deeply review attack helicopter. Sorry my Turkish friends, but this thing is total garbage compared to the regular 10.0 Italian Mangusta. So here is the sad reality, why I didn't like it. Uh, first of all, in real life, they modified the weapons to be a low cost weapon. These are basically least efficient, cheaper modifications. Uh, to fight probably against uh, pickup truck, classic American stuff. Same thing with Bayraktar, why is it popular? Because it's the cheapest drone and it gives similar efficiency as uh, what other nations use. Uh, so here's the little info board I made. When did I understood that this helicopter's loadout is bad? So I thought the ATGM this helicopter have, Lumtas, is a copy version of the Hellfire. I was so wrong. But then when I was in a battle, I noticed that uh, it takes a really long time until this ATGM uh, reaches the target. I don't like the, I don't like the brand new Jirit missiles as well. It's basically a laser guided rocket. It's only efficient against light targets such as helicopter, SPA, but, but just look at the statistics. You'll see why is it so bad. So you can mix both of these loadouts. Attack helicopter have Lumtas and Jirit missiles. So when we're gonna compare them to each other, we realize that Jirit missile is four times faster. Now I thought uh, this missile would have been fastest in the game because that's how developer kind of promoted it in a dev server. He said uh, it's much more faster than regular ATGM. When he said regular ATGM, I immediately think about Hellfires. Uh, I said, hell yeah, it's gonna be OP. But no, by regular ATGM, he meant regular ATGM of the attack helicopter, the Turkish helicopter, which goes only 700 kph, same speed as A10. The first Hellfire is already available in the top tier Italian helicopter, 10.0. Turkish attack helicopter is basically a downgraded version of already existing 10.0 Italian helicopter. Not like in Chinese tech tree. In China now there's two Z19s, but both of them are 100% identical. There is no downgrade, no upgrade. Uh, here in Italy, however, it's opposite. Uh, the premium 10.0 is much more weaker. So be aware of that because a lot of people get excited because of this Jirit missile. It's unique. But statistics are showing that the first Hellfire already controversial already hated by most of the helicopter users. The first Hellfire is much better <laughs> than both of these the laser guided rockets and Lumtas ATGM. So first Hellfire is basically a combination of Lumtas and Jirit. Uh, what's another problem with Jirit? Extremely bad turn time, really bad. A randomness of the rocket when you hit MBT. Sometimes you have to waste like six of them. And unlike uh, all of the ATGMs in the game, it doesn't tell the time when rocket will reach to the target. Normal ATGM does. At the left side, you'll see a countdown. So you constantly need to switch to a rocket camera to even understand where that rocket goes. The rocket turn is so bad, you need to basically turn your helicopter directly towards target both vertically and horizontally. If you fire them straight and you're close to a target, they will not go down in time. And by the way, both of these missiles are laser guided. They're not fire and forget. Lumtas ATGM, super slow. Jirit is fast as hellfire, but turn explosive mass penetration wise, it's weak. So yeah, that's it with the review. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.